During a sermon back in June, he referred to them as filth, saying that those concepts should not be taught in schools. CBS 17 Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh tonight. And Michael, some LGBT groups are out there right now trying to meet with the governor tonight. Yeah, they came here today saying we are not filth while standing outside of his office. Now there are a few people here who are supporting Lieutenant Governor Robinson. He posted a new video saying he stands by everything he said. Transgenderism, homosexuality, any of that filth. After this video surfaced of Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, Democratic State Representative Allison Dahl said it took her a few days to figure out what to say. I was scared for the kids. Dahl is one of a few LGBTQ members of the General Assembly. She says what worries her is the impact Robinson's comments can have on kids' mental health. I was scared for the young people that have not been through. Amendment 1, who have not been through HP2, who haven't been through this before. I will not be silent, and I will not be bullied into submission. Robinson posted this video over the weekend, saying he stands by what he said. He referred to a few books he said are being used in public schools, including one with explicit images, to teach kids about being transgender and homosexuality. For several days now, I have been viciously attacked because of a clip video where I talk about removing the sexualization of children from the classrooms in our public education system. Robinson has declined multiple requests from us for an interview since the initial video surfaced. The leading Democrats running for U.S. Senate next year all have called on him to resign. On the Republican side, former Congressman Mark Walker said he agrees with Robinson, adding, quote, the content is filth. We're not here for this anymore. We need to move on and help people get through this pandemic. We need to help economic growth. I also reached out to the Republican leaders in the General Assembly, but they did not respond to our request for comment. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.